What's up guys, Alec here with Veed, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to easily and automatically translate your videos online. So the tool we're gonna be using is called Veed. So we're just gonna head over to Google and type in Veed. Once we Googled Veed, you click on the first link, it's Veed, create, edit, and share videos online. So we are going to create a new project and then a Veed's project editor is going to open up. And this is where we upload the video that we want to translate. So I'm just going to go onto my computer. So I've just gone through my computer and I've uploaded a YouTube video that I want to translate. And if we take a look at the top right here, we actually have the project progress of the upload. So this is the progress right here. And once this progress bar has done, this will take anywhere between a few seconds to a few minutes. We can then start translating our video. So now the video is finished uploading. We're actually going to head over to the left toolbar here and click on the subtitles tab. And once we've clicked on the subtitles tab, we're going to click on auto subtitle. But just before we do this, I'm going to play back the first few seconds so we can just get a feel of the video. What's up guys, Alec here with Veed. And in this video, I'm going to so as you can see, this is a video for our YouTube channel and I want to basically auto subtitle this video and translate the subtitles into a bunch of different languages. So now I'm going to click on auto subtitle and I'm gonna select the language that I'm speaking in. You can choose between a bunch of different languages, but obviously I'm speaking in English in this video. So I'm just gonna select English and then click on start. And then once we've clicked on start, Veed is basically going to automatically transcribe all of the audio in your video into text and turn that text into subtitles. And then once we have those subtitles, Veed can automatically translate those subtitles for us. So now if we take a look, Veed's auto subtitle tool has finished transcribing all the audio into text. And I'm only going to be using the first few seconds as an example, because if I go through the whole video, this will take way too long. And second of all, I just wanna mention that you can style the subtitles, but because we're going to be using them as SRT files, for YouTube, you don't actually have to worry about the styling, but if you're using this video for Instagram, let's say, you can quickly just restyle your subtitles, you can change the font size. There's a bunch of things you can do with the Veed Subtitle Editor. Now, back to the subtitles. So if I play back the first few seconds again. Guys, Alec here with Veed, and in this video, I'm so the very first thing I've noticed right here is Veed, they've misspelt it because it's a name. So I can just quickly go into the subtitle editor and make these changes. Now, if we play it back. What's up guys, Alec here with Veed. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you. So as you can see, we have the corrected version now with Veed. And what we're gonna do next is actually translate the video. So I'm gonna click on this little language icon up here and we're going to add another subtitle track. So I'm just gonna click on add subtitle track. And I'm gonna translate, um, let's just say into French, right? So I type in French, select French, and then translate from, this is default selected, but it's translate from original, or you can choose to add a blank subtitle track or upload an SRT file you already have. So I'm just gonna select translate from original and click on the plus sign. So now we have the French subtitles. So what I'm gonna do is click on edit here, and then all of my subtitles are magically translated into the French language. So now if I play it back from the beginning, What's up guys, Alec here with Veed, and in this video I'm going to... As you can see, it's all written in French, all my subtitles are in French, and I've now translated the video into French. So, if I'm looking to download these subtitles for YouTube, I want them as SRT files. So what I will go and do is click on Options, and then I can actually download as an SRT file or a VTT file, or if you want to further edit these, you can also download them as a .txt file. Now, if you're looking to download the English ones as well, you can go back to edit, and then again, go to options and download them. So if I go and add a third language, for an example, this time I'm going to be adding, let's just say Spanish. I wanna translate again from the default English language, and then I just click on plus, and then I click on edit, and now all of my subtitles, as we can see, are in Spanish. And if I wanted to download my Spanish subtitles for YouTube as an SRT file, I just click on download and then they start downloading. Now that is how you translate YouTube videos for YouTube, but let's say I wanted to post this to Instagram, right? What I could do then is actually change the canvas size for this video and I still want to keep the subtitles in Spanish. I'm just gonna quickly make this square for Instagram. I now have my subtitles. Potentially gonna make these a little bit bigger because it is for Instagram. So I now have these, if I play it back from the beginning, What's up guys, Alec here with Veed, and in this video... Okay, so this is perfect, I got my subtitles. And now due to the fact that you can't upload SRT files with your videos on Instagram, we're going to be hard coding the subtitles into the video. So that means if I click on this download button right here, Veed is then gonna start rendering my video, and then once it's finished rendering my video, it's available for download, and then I can just post it straight to Instagram. And that is how you translate your videos online using Veed. That being said, if you have any questions, please let us know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video or you found it helpful, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.